6 p.m. Coverage you can count on. The Georgia Department of Transportation spends more than two billion tax dollars every year. But for years, the agency's financial management has ranged from terrible to merely poor. Channel 2's Richard Belcher discovered state auditors just gave GDOT its fourth straight scathing critical report. Richard. Yeah, the best possible spin for GDOT is that some of the problems are beyond its control and that its financial management is better than it was a few years ago. Just not enough better. That's the verdict of state auditors and of an independent forensic accountant who reviewed the state's findings for Channel 2. Every year, DOT spends hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars, nearly all of it from state and federal fuel taxes. You buy gasoline, DOT gets money for roads and bridges. So how well does the department manage all that money? Well, I started with 2008, the audit report, and I was surprised. It was terrible. We asked forensic accountant Lori Dyke to review the last four audits for one of Georgia's biggest government agencies. Millions and millions of dollars of things that were wrong and found and needed to be corrected. In 2009, DOT's money management became a political issue. People went to jail over similar things in Enron and other corporations, and those were private corporations. In fact, the GBI and the state attorney general's office here even conducted a criminal investigation of DOT's former treasurer. No one was charged, but we're asking, is DOT's financial management really any better? They're better now, but they still don't have adequate controls to prepare and present materially accurate financial statements in accordance with the law. Yes, sir, we have some work to do in that area, too. We've, we've admitted that. I think we've been working closely with the state accounting offices and the state auditors and the governor's staff to try to come over the route, overcome those. Incoming Commissioner Keith Golden and the department's treasurer tell me software problems have contributed to the financial mismanagement. Lori Dyke agrees. But the most contentious issue is that DOT has moved money among its 15 or 18 separate programs without the approval of the General Assembly, which is illegal. Auditors say the confusion over the various programs is so great, neither DOT nor the auditors can say whether the agency spent its money as the legislature intended last year. Lori Dyke says the current situation is probably beyond repair. How's it going to get better tomorrow? It can't get better. And there's no way it'll get better. Another problem, the amount of unspent cash in DOT accounts has risen spectacularly from zero in 2008 to well over a billion dollars last summer. Highway contractors complain the department's financial mismanagement has kept it from letting contracts and creating jobs as quickly as it should. All in all, State Auditor Russell Hinton calls the last several audits of DOT's finances scathing. Do you agree with that appraisal? I don't know if it's scathing, but I know that we have work to do. We asked Lori Dyke to grade DOT's financial management. Originally, I'd say it was an F. It's probably come up to a C if you just look at improvement, um, but there's still a long ways to go. Dyke believes real progress will require that DOT, in effect, zero out its old accounts and start over. Commissioner Golden and his staff say the governor, the legislature, the attorney general are all on board to try to correct the problems and put those Enron insults in DOT's rearview mirror. You can see the whole audit by going to WSBTV.com and clicking on the web links section.